Hello everyone, this is Jing Song and welcome back to another video tutorial. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to install Send OS 8 on your virtual box. So let's get started. <laughs> First, you need to download the CentOS from the official website. Open up your browser and then type centos.org slash download. After that, press enter. Right now, you can choose this um, ISO uh, 8664. Click on it. Go to this link. There is a couple of links you can choose from. Okay, uh, look at this. You need to download this one. Send OS 8.3 ISO file uh, with the 9.3 gigabyte. This is a little bit bigger, but it is a full package for the Send OS. Click on it to download. Start your downloading. Okay, um, you need to wait because this file is a little bit bigger it depends on your internet speed so i finished the downloading so let's begin the installation okay um this is uh, the centos 8.3 i just downloaded to my computer right now you go back to the virtual box all right and then click new this time i give the name send OS 8.3 keep everything like that and click next and the memory size I want to set the RAM to 6 gigabyte 60 61 44 something like that right next after that click create click next okay and click next right now i can choose the size of my hard disk let's say um, 40 all right and click create after that go to settings right now go to advanced change this to bi-directional why when you change this to bi-directional you will be able to share the clipboard you can copy from the um, window to the virtual box something like that okay mm, and then go to system this go to processor you can drag the way like this uh, by default it will give you one cpu but uh, increase to five actually you can drag until here until the green line eh? but i just keep it five it's okay for me go back to motherboard and let's change this pointing device to um, usb tablet this is uh, make us easier to use to control the mouse pointer between a window and um, the virtual box go to display the memory video memory just drag all the way to the right 128 megabytes um why you, you need you need to make this because after the installation you may want your uh, send os 8.3 in the virtual box get the full screen so this is important to make it um, maximum like this and go to storage and select on empty this time you will need to choose the iso file that you have download to your computer choose a disk file this is the sense os i just downloaded click open after that you can go to the network change this to bridged adapter and uh, when you choose this to bridged adapter you don't need to assign the static ip address for your virtual server and your virtual server will get the dynamic ip address from your router after that click ok when everything done just click 
start it. Okay. Uh, remember, you can close this. You can close this, and just wait maybe sixty seconds. Okay. Um, you need to wait sixty seconds. All right. Just wait a bit. Checking the buy. All right, now you can choose the language, okay, and click continue. After that, click on this. Okay, select the hard disk for the installation. Okay, you select the hard disk click done now the installation destination you already set just click on that and choose your hard disk that you assign uh, 40 gigabyte after that click done right now you need to give the root password okay you can give the root password Okay, the password is strong enough so just click done and go to this user creation click on it I give the username for this computer I can give this All right um, you can make this user as administrator because you will be able to install to download everything with this user just check on that and give the password after click after that click done since the password is weak so you you have to click twice time okay everything is done now click on begin installation right you need to wait maybe 15 to 20 minutes before the installation complete and when the installation finish we will get back together okay i will push the video okay now uh, the installation is complete so just click reboot system click on it and you need to wait a bit click on license information click on it and I accept the license agreement and then click done after that finish configuration all right now you can log into your uh, send OS system give the password and click sign in you almost there all right um, click next 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 again skip all right now everything is done but look at this when you go to view and you choose full screen mode you cannot get the full screen so this time you need to install the virtual box guest edition how can you do that okay um let's go back to the to this all right you need to install the um, guest edition cd image but before you can do that you need to give this command line just go to activities and click on terminal right now let's give the command let's say sudo yum minus y install gcc press enter okay you give the password 
press enter oops okay I got error because look at this I need to connect the Wi-Fi and click go this icon and click Wi-Fi and click connect right now you need to press the up arrow key okay and press enter again right it's downloading the package okay uh, after that you need to install this sudo and type yum install make pull press enter type y for yes press enter now you need to install the kernel go to sudo again and yum install kernel devo dash dollar sign open bracket u name space minus or press enter all right um and about to find a match kernel all right um this kernel is not match so you need to install this package mm sudo dnf install epel release what is it epel stand for extra packages uh, enterprise linux you need to install that package press enter type y for yes okay right now you can see um, you already installed this okay let's confirm the version um, go to rpm dash q e p e l uh, dash release okay this is the version of the um, epl okay this time you need to install uh, kernel headers and uh, I mean headers and um, build tool okay just type sudo dn dnf install gcc make pull kernel devo space kernel um, headers B zip to DKMS and press enter. Okay, just wait a bit. Type Y for yes. Type Y again for yes enter once you installed confirm that the version of kernel devo corresponds to the version of your Linux kernel okay by running this command just type um, or pm dash q um, check the kernel devo version go this press enter and this is the kernel version uh, the kernel devo it is um, 4.18 okay so now let's um, check the version of your Linux kernel uh, by typing you name dash or press enter okay um the version of kernel devo is 
not the same with the version of Linux kernel. So before you can install the guest edition, you need to make uh, the the kernel devil and the um, Linux kernel the same. Okay. So to do this, you need to update the kernel. How can you update the kernel? Tap this command. So go again, dnf update um, kernel dash star sign and press enter. Give the password. All right, type y for yes. Now you can check again the version of kernel Devo by typing rpm dash q. Okay, and kernel Devo. Okay, this is the version of kernel Devo. Right now, you can check the uh, Linux kernel by typing u name dash or. Okay, wait, uh, you need to restart it. You need to restart the system. The version is still not the same, so let's reboot your system. sudo reboot. Okay, just reboot it, and after that, you would see the kernel uh, Linux and the kernel Devo will have the same version. Give the password, sign in. Okay, let's check again. Go to this terminal and check for the RPM dash Q um, space and kernel dash Devo. Press enter and check the version of linux kernel typing u name dash or press enter now both version are the same now you can start the um, installation of the guest edition go to device go to insert guest edition image okay click run Give the password. If you don't install the guest edition install, uh, if you don't install that VirtualBox guest editions, you cannot get the full screen even you switch like this. Okay. Let's see. When you see this, press return to close the window, just press enter. Okay, um, right now you need to restart it. Click restart. Okay, give the password for this. Sign in. Okay, now go to view, click full screen and switch. Okay, now you get the full screen window of your genome desktop. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any problem, just ask me in the comment uh, in the comment section below. Thanks. Bye bye. See you in the next video.